Hi guys. Uh, hi YouTube. This is uh, Joel again. Okay. I, I I feel really compelled about um, about making a video about the money system as I've learned and as I've seen as, and as I see it, as I see what it's doing. Okay. Um, first, I learned that the money system it's very unstable. It was created to be backed by gold, which means that somebody held a valid amount of gold on uh, uh, on an equal or valued amount of paper. Now, ever since then, the banks have been able to make money out of have been able to make money out of thin air and lend that money out and charge people for that imaginary money. So what then? So that when it gets paid back more money is created out of thin air out of the work of the people that borrowed it okay now that seems to me as a scam if I were to go out and do that on my own I'd probably get arrested just saying anyway that's one uh, number two um, say for example there's a community that does not trade in money they don't use money they use trust they use goods and services to tr uh, to exchange with each other now those those communities wouldn't need money at all because they they would be completely independent and they would be so out of the reach of what happens to money right devaluation etc etc so what if they inf they were infiltrated with money and or they were forced to use the currency that everybody else around them was using. Now they are now they can be now they can be manipulated by how much money is in there and the value of that money. So now say so for example we have a beautiful community that only trades between each other and you know everything works out fine and uh, co in comes a bank and starts lending out all this money they of course they expect that money to get paid back and when they don't because of traps and uh, all these I'm sure illegal contracts are presented and accepted and then when they get they, when they get paid back or they do not get paid back now that um, they the money just comes in and takes it and they keep doing that over and over and over now you know that's pretty much what I've seen happening since the 30s and therefore the Great Depression now number three what I've seen happening now it's that I, I'm, I'm in a com I have my own computer business computer tech computer uh, repair uh, building and uh, website re website creation and uh, uh, photography and you know a lot of that on the past year you know everybody well, ever since last year, if before last year, I, I was getting a lot of business. People had no problem paying me. Um, I would charge $800 for a uh, photo session for a quinceañera for the entire day. And they had no problem paying me. $400 at first and $400 upon completion of the job. Or a computer. I would get a request to, get a, to build a $600 computer. No problem. They would pay me cash come um, right now it's the 2nd of August of 2010 and what I found out is that people still have all these wants and needs but now they find it harder to collect the money to pay it and it makes me wonder why there's no shortage of money the government obviously has all this money to spend on on wars and and they have all this money to spend on banks and they have all this money to spend on a lot of the stuff on security but they have no way to help people regular people that don't have uh, companies that don't have um, um, all these corporations you know to run and even the smaller corporations are in trouble you know why because there's not enough money doesn't sound right. Doesn't ring a bit. Doesn't ring like it really sounds like there's something missing there. 
anyway um, this whole missing money or lost money or not enough money that's an illusion um, first of all if you look at a dollar you can see that I remember in the 70s this bills used to read right about here it would read something about this note is backed by gold some like some something in the words of that this is a gold note or a silver note this is a debt debt note the note is li this note is legal tender for all debts public and private it says nothing about money nothing about backed by silver backed by gold backed by something solid it's a debt note that means that as soon as I hold it I'm trading in debt in negative so if I were to find or suggest a solution to these issues is to actually go back to trading with each other services stop using this worthless piece of paper you know they already said this is no longer the world currency the United Nations have declared it that this will no longer be the holding currency for the world for the planet um, they haven't said what is going to get rep wh what is going what it, it is going to be replaced by but you notice you know that is big news that means that the other country the only reason other countries or other immigrants came to this country it's because of the dollar of the value the dollar has you can take a dollar anywhere on the planet and it gets recognized what's going to happen now hmm. it is uh, United States will no longer or the market of the United States will no longer be the market to go to for um, for your security of money so now I think we have to change the way we think of money or at least change the way we think about each other and we handle um, transactions with each other I think we, c we have to come up with a fair system or go back to using a fair system that does not include money given out by government I think money should be handled by people created by people used for people because as soon as it touches corporations all they worry about is how much they can make for themselves so they only care about making sure they survive and uh, you know at times with this corporation should have just been let go because it didn't work anyway those are my thoughts and I would like to hear more thoughts out there um, more suggestions there are already systems ha uh, happening around the planet where uh, people started what's called time banks and these time banks um, what you do is you create a service or a product and depending on what hours you spend on that on that service you know to someone else you know that goes into your bank and you can trade those um, hours for something else for food for services for whatever you need and you know we just have to start thinking of a more humane w way to handle transactions between each other I think that profiting should not be the focus of any person as you transact you know it should be more like the survival of each other if I take care of those around me I create an environment where um, my survival or the survival of those I care about is more likely okay thanks YouTube I really would like to hear what you guys have to think have to say